we have been learning how to write the number three. Number three looks like a what? A half a ball and a half a ball. Good. Boys and girls watching, you knew that too. Way to go. Well, let's look at our number. It starts on a red dot. It curves up to the ceiling. We curve down and tuck in. We curve back around to the floor and finish. And that's what we're going to do on our paper today. On our very first box, we start on the red dot. Let's watch. Let's see if Mrs. Stewart falls off the line. See if I go so slow. Put your binoculars on. Let's check. Oh, Jonathan has his. Boys and girls watching, you have yours. You're ready to go. Let's see. I start on a red dot. I curve up to the ceiling. Oh, I have to go so slow. I curve down, I tuck in, I curve back around and down to the floor, and finished. Oh, if you think I did a good job, give me winky blinkies. I did it. Oh, I can't wait to give you winky blinkies today because you're going to do a good job on your paper too. We're going to make all these threes and then we're going to make our very own count these hats with me. One, two, three. All right, we're going to put on our ball caps today and we get to write the number three. I'm going to be looking for nice papers today. I'm going to look to see who is going to write and trace so carefully. Who's going to make a nice number three and who is going to color inside the lines? We have had a terrific day. Let's keep working hard and doing our best for Jesus. Class, Stan. Turn your chairs, turn your chairs, do it fast, don't be last. Turn your chairs, turn your chairs, do it fast, put your hands in your lap. Way to go. Do it quickly, Jonathan, she's waiting for you. Oh, I like that gentleman, Connor, way to go. Hands are in your lap. I'm going to fix this girl's chair so she's ready to go and give Elijah some room. There you go. Take out your paper. Boys and girls you can, that are watching, you can prepare too. Take out your pencil, pencil check. Your elbow is up. Good, Connor, you were first for your table. Carter was first for his table. He has his elbow up. Mommy and Daddy are in the right place. Those babies, babies are buckled in and his helper hand was on his paper. Great job. William, you were first for your table. Oh, and boys, I think you were first. Way to go, boys watching. Mm -hmm. Help her hand in the corner. Sitting up straight and tall. Can you sit up straight and tall, Angelina? There you go, sit up all the way. Help her hand in that corner for me. Great job. Go to the blue box, the blue box. Put your pencil on the red dot. Now. We're going to stay together, so stay with Mrs. Stewart. Begin. Start at the red dot. Curve up and curve down. Tuck in. Then curve around. Bounce down to the floor and finish. Pencil rest on the red hat. Pencil rest on the red hat. Now I want to show you something because I just saw a couple of papers like this. Look at Mrs. Stewart. When we are waiting for the teacher, we're just going to touch it. I don't want to see this. Don't stand there and wait for me to talk and scribble on your red dot. Can you make just touch it? Just make a dot? I hope so because that doesn't look very nice. I'm going to erase that because that does not look nice at all. Watch Mrs. Stewart. It's my turn so you're not tracing. You're resting on the re red hat. Let me see who's resting on the red hat. Who has their helper hand on their paper? Jonathan, is your helper hand on your paper? Fix it quickly. Here we go. I start at the red dot. I curve up and around. I tuck in. I curve back around and bounce down to the floor and finish. Go to the orange box. Go to the orange box. Helper hand in the corner. Begin. Curve around. Bounce, tuck in, curve around and bounce down to the floor and finish. Go, pencil rest on the green hat. Pencil rest on the green hat. And eyes this way. I'm just touching my 
chalk on the dot. I'm not scribbling on it. I'm curving up to the ceiling, curving down and tucking in. I curve down and bounce to the floor and finish. Go to the green box, put your pencil on the red dot. We're stopping and thinking, so we're not what? Tracing. tracing. You're not tracing, you're stopping and thinking. Begin. Curve up to the ceiling, curve around and tuck in. Curve around and bounce down to the floor and finish. Pencil rest on the blue hat this time. On the blue hat. Nice job. Now I'm on my purple box. I start on the red dot. I curve up to the ceiling. I curve down and tuck in. I curve down and bounce to the floor and finish. Go to the purple box. Let's see how we're doing over here. Your pencil's on the red dot. Oh, I like how you're staying with my words. Way to go, table three. Begin. Curve around and down, tuck in, curve around, bounce down to the floor, and finish. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. Good. Pencil rest back on the red hat again. Back on the red hat. And eyes this way. Watch Mrs. Stewart. I start on the red dot. I'm not scribbling on it. I'm just making that dot. Oakley, are you watching so you can do a nice job? Good. I curve up to the ceiling. I curve around and tuck in. I curve down and bounce to the floor and finish. It's your turn. Touch the red dot in the yellow box. Begin. Curve up to the ceiling. Curve around and tuck in. Curve around and bounce down to the floor and finish. Pencils to bed. Let me see. Wow. Let's look at this girl's right here. Put your pencils to bed quietly, please. That's a nice number three. We're working on it. Very nice. Boys and girls watching, how's your number three? Are you working hard? Yes, you are. Good. Whoa, these number threes look so nice over here. I see it. Take out your pencil, pencil check. Oh, control, please. Oh, I'm sorry. Take out your crayons, not your pencil. But thank you for that quick obedience. That was so fast. But take out your crayons and hands in your lap. Put your pencil to bed and get out your crayon, please. Thank you. Now, how many of you have hats at your house? Raise your hand. Oh, pretend to put your favorite hat on your head. Nice, put it back in your lap. What is your favorite hat that you have at your house, Angelina? What's it look like? Pig. Oh, she has one with a pig on it. What's your favorite hat, Connor? I don't have a hat. You don't have a hat? Maybe you can get one for, for a present sometime. Maybe if you work really hard in school, mama might get you a hat. Boys and girls watching, do you have a favorite hat at your house? Oh, I do. I have a favorite hat. It is a pink hat, and it's got lots of little polka dots all over it. I love polka dots. That is my favorite hat. Oh, it is so fun. Well, today we are going to color some hats on our paper. Let's look at our first hat. Our first hat is red. Our first hat is red, and I'm gonna do my very best job on it today. I am going to color this hat right here. Look at that. This part right here is called the bill. It's the bill of the hat. It's like, because it almost looks like a duck bill. That's why we call it a bill of the hat. And I'm gonna color it so nicely. And I'm taking my time, and I'm not scribbling because I want to do my very best job on this paper. My very, very best job. Look how nice I'm coloring. Take out your red crayon, red crayon check. Does that mean we're coloring right now? Yeah. No. You, you are being so diligent and very trustworthy. 
because you're not coloring. You have your hand up, your elbow is up, and you are ready to go. Wow, Carter, you look so sharp. I like that. Way to go, table three. That looks very sharp too. Go ahead and color your red hat. Boys and girls watching, thank you for waiting for Mrs. Stewart. You're being so diligent and trustworthy too today. Thank you so much. Now work hard to stay in the lines. Don't draw inside of it. Color. We're not making pictures. See how nice I just colored that with you? That's how you color it. Color nicely. Thank you. Do your very best job. Wow. Color back and forth like this. You can color either up and down or side to side. Just like this. Okay. Take your time. Make it pretty. Take your time. Good. Oh, I see some white spots, Connor. Keep finishing it. Finish that red hat. You're doing a good job. Cyrus, are you slowing down? Slow down. You can do it. Good job coloring all the white spots though. Nice. Wow, look at this boy. I don't like that scribble right there, but I do love that hat right there. That looks so nice. Nice. When we're in pencil rest, we don't scribble. Yes, ma'am. He colored already. Okay, just leave it alone. Don't don't toddle on your friend. It's okay. Jonathan, we're coloring right now. Put your hand down. It's okay. All right, let's look right here. We are going to color our next hat. So what eyes on me? My next hat I'm going to color is our green hat. This is our green hat. Maybe that's your favorite color is green. And we are going to color this right here green. Oh, Mrs. Stewart went too fast. So I gotta slow down. If you start to see that you're gonna color outside those lines, just slow down and color inside, just like that. Take out your green crayon and color your green hat. I'm gonna finish mine. Take your time and color your green hat. If you'd leave your green crayons open like that, then you could get them out easier. There you go. Here, you put your crayons on your house. And he has his crayons on his house. Put your hand down. Beautiful coloring. I like this hard work. We're getting better and better every day. Now I know we don't have a yellow hat on here, but we do have a red and a blue hat. While you're finishing the green hat, let's sing Who Made the Colors of the Rainbow? Who made the colors of the rainbow? God does, God does. Who made the colors of the rainbow? God does, God does. He made the red and the yellow and the blue. When he gives an earth the bath, he sends a rainbow too. Who makes the colors of the rainbow? God does, God does. Who makes the colors of the rainbow? God does, God does. So nice. Oakley, are you staying with Mrs. Stewart? Thank you. 
Let's look at our papers. Did you color pretty your red and your green hat? Looks nice. Give me a big smile if you're staying with the teacher. Nice work. Now, what color hat do we have left? Blue. Blue, we do. We have blue hat left. And I like that you're waiting for Mr. Your hands are in your lap and your eyes are right here on me. So nobody has any crayons in their hand because you all have your eyes on Mrs. Stewart because it's my turn. Watch me. I am going to color our last time. I'm going to go up and down, up and down. Now you can either go up and down like this or side to side, whichever way that will help you make it pretty and color in your blue hat. You are doing such a good job. I love that you're staying with the teacher. When you stay with the teacher and you don't color more than what the teacher says to color, do you know you're being dependable? Just like David was. He didn't leave his sheep alone when he went to go fight, fight that Goliath, did he? No, he got a helper. He got somebody to watch his sheep. And you're being dependable when you stay with the teacher. I love that hard work. Give yourself a big hug. If you stayed with the teacher and you only have done your red and your green hat, I am proud of you. Way to go, boys and girls watching too. You can take out your blue crayon and finish coloring your blue hat, your paper. Finish coloring. Do a nice job. Go ahead and color your blue hat. Make it pretty. Just like you did your red and your green hat. Look up your heads now. Color in all of those spots. Where is somewhere that you, you could wear a hat to. Think in your brain, I'm gonna ask you, don't just yell out at me, I'm just, I'm gonna call some friends out. Let's see, where could you wear a hat at? Hmm, Cyrus, where could you wear a hat to? Um, at a baseball game. At a baseball game, yes. You could wear it at a baseball game. Hmm, Carter, where else could you wear a hat? At work. At work, some people wear a hat to work like that, especially if you work outside or if you, um, work in a field or something like that, or you work on cars and things, sometimes you just wear a hat to work, yes. Sometimes you have to wear a hat that's like a hard hat to work, yes. Those are fun to wear. Or it's another place that we could wear a hat to. Let's see, William, where else could we wear a hat to? Um, for a safe A what? For a safe Yes, we could wear a hat there. Where else could we wear a hat, Angelina? Um, to the beach. To the beach. Mm -hmm. That's with your happy thought, couldn't you? Her happy thought was going to the beach earlier when we did that poem, and then she could wear her hat there. Very nice. What number did we write today? Three. 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 And how do we know it's a number three? Because it's a half a ball and a half a ball. Great job. And how many hats do we have on our paper? Three. We have three hats on our paper. You have worked so hard today. I love this hard work. Number three. Way to go. We are doing our best. Keep working hard. Looks like we're all finished coloring. Boys and girls, if you're still coloring there, you keep working hard. We're finished here, so we're gonna be done right here. Go ahead and close up your crayon boxes. Slide up, slide your crayons inside your desk. Slide your paper inside your desk. I sure do love this hard work. Keep working hard today and keep being diligent because that's exactly what God is looking for. People that are working hard, doing their best and being diligent just like David.